and Edison, one of those players that is in that top 16 that Bala talked about. As you see, welcome to the club. Edison earned his first FNCS Finals win with that Game 3 performance. A lot of players in that club. Edison, just one of the most recent ones to join it. And you know he's looking to make it number two, number three win. Maybe go on a little bit of a rampage. We'll see with the landing spot. Obviously not being centered around those mythic POIs. A little bit different over here by the Orchard and Steamy Stacks. And I believe we are going to hop into a replay of Wolfie's and how he got one of his eliminations or if he got eliminated. Two or three times and he switches things up to the authority. Maybe does not end up fighting off at the yacht. Going back to his old home, but there's new inhabitants. There's new players. And it's going to be him taking out 360 spin. Trades a little bit more damage. He does have Shug Splash again. And Minis to get right back into fighting chances. And this is really good for Savage because it gives him this type of engagement that he normally won't get from Arena, from scrims, from other other types of the FNCS as he picks that elimination up. Because if this happens in the finals or the heat, if he gets W keyed, he's going to need to know how to defend, how to push it back. And there's no better practice like what you're seeing now as there is a third party coming in. He's probably going to have to defend against this. And this is the worst case scenario for a lot of players in that finals FNCS moment. But Savage is operating very well. I think even like more than half are available in that top 10. We switch places though. Savage will not care whatsoever about the third party coming off that hill. He will chase down another player. Here we go. Start shotgun on the other side. Start getting the wall box fight action, box to box. Resetting that every time. Oh, he switches it up. He likes it, makes it look like He's going to go for the wall with the pickaxe, but instead the quick swap to the crash pad to get in. And one more time, we'll probably do it. One more time, we'll probably force the 50-50. Ooh, what a stair flip. Knows that the edit is coming, and the reactions from Savage are too much. Way too much for Zanny to handle. Two elims for Savage, and he's on another one. But almost more important is... Where are you standing on the leaderboard? Snazy started to rise up, and that was definitely one of the... Breakout players after DreamHack, placing very highly on EU, placing fourth, and then even off ping across the water, across the ocean, placing sixth on NA East. But so far, not today. Here's another snipe from Letwick on to snipe himself. Letwick will collect. But it does, and somebody who definitely wants to be up there, and I think they may have already clinched with the 23 points that they have is Chapix. Mr. Savage is nearby now and still looking back out of zone. So he might decide that Chapix cannot proceed. Do not pass go. It's always a possibility. When you're playing Monopoly, and Savage will collect the $200 going forward. Oh my goodness, this man is on fire. Starting at game one with the W King. And now again, four eliminations. We'll see if we can get back up to the five that he got before Endgame even started last time. And he is approaching that same timing. As we go past third zone, I mean, we'll probably slow down, but who knows? This man is on something else today. And there's no better way to secure your run to the top than take out the players oh, no. that are there that are holding you. And Thomas HD, unfortunately, is going to fall there to Vortex very early in this game. Will he continue it into late game? Will he get a six, seven? eight eliminations will he push it to 10 if, if, if anybody's gonna do it right now it's gonna be savage he's on a hot streak right now he almost finds one in zone i think he's still stuck there yes he gets the tags and that's kura down Teak, just a couple of burst fire shots will do the trick it didn't even look like that player was still in zone but he was and Teak had the patience to wait for it the other player in the box tried to steal it but not quick enough Five players up, the surge. Actually, maybe not gonna have an impact. <laughs> Possibly because of Savage himself <laughs> taking on half the necessary. <laughs> Alone. He said Letwick has a lot to work with down below and up above in his hands. He is gonna choose one player in the lobby, might decide to end that run. As there's multiple players spraying. Yes, Letwick onto Lufu. And that's the difficulty, man. Sometimes you're the chosen one, but most of the time it's because not only do you put yourself in a poor position in respect to everybody else with the sight lines, but also you get a little too greedy. 
as you open up a couple edits that makes your walls weak and easily fired upon by multiple people to take it down and get the damage in meanwhile benji still up and he finds himself an elin but we saw the same thing happen right at the same time last game and what ended up happening was benji falling after he got the elim after he got the impact because like we said sometimes you're the chosen one and so o'reilly finding these people to choose and eliminate four elims now before this half and half came out he's looking really good he's not making the same play as savages but nearly getting the same amount of elimination so he's more than likely going to keep this momentum in the end game and have a very strong performance there but we'll keep our eyes on them as flaky trying to make a rotation in the zone with that crash pad as shio said it this might be one of the most impactful games ahead of us in game number four i just saw bad sniper live i saw snazy i saw teak earlier Cartoon could still be in this. All of these guys are within five points of each other for first place. So let that sink in for a second. This game right here might be finally when we start to increase that gap, but if they all start to push up towards the top 10, it could still be close after this game. We'll have to just see. Someone who wants to get into that top 10 though is Flakesy. He was on the cusp there coming in this game, was near it. Only about 10 points away from it. Got the tools to do it. Moraine in this lobby as well. Rezon up there on the high ground. Right below is Benji Fishy. Sammy is there. All these big names that are near the top are here. Kezix is there as well. As we get some nice sweet POVs just to see who is alive in this lobby and show you everybody and where they are. Lacey's got a lot of players right below him and that's gonna cause a little bit of issues because he's only have one crash pad left for this rotation. Luckily for him, it does pull in a favorable-ish direction, but it's going to be really hard. Yeah, but it's favorable for everybody, Clay. Look at the zone straight white line towards the east. And literally everybody posted up in the fifth zone on that side. So it pulls back probably over old builds as well, given that they're all on this side. So it's actually a question of how do we proceed? Maybe a lot of old builds will be revealed for people to actually use. Kazix finds one. And the zone begins to move. Everybody waiting still because they were all on that front side. Here we go. Crash pads finally starting and Benji goes down again. That's the player in second place. Unfortunately, Benji's streak of good games has maybe come into an end. The last two have been falling in this exact scenario. And in tandem, Mongrel goes down as well. Siberia falling as well. So many of these big names that are near the top are just falling and falling and falling. As we swap back over to Noah Riley, no eliminations gained since the last time we were on board with them. They found an old target. Look at this. This is a free run. There's a player right there. They're looking to look to set the beam. The beam comes through. They've broken the shield, and they know they can be aggressive. They got the crash pad to get in if they want to, if they want to save it for the rotation, but just trying to get in. And this player's still in the box. They are going to get out for the time being, but Noah Riley, in the pressure, they got the cone in the box, and that's just going to be a hop Ooh. in, and Shitty is going to go down. What is that? Noah Riley now on five, approaching the same seven that Thomas got last game. He still has a lot to work with. The player on the front side of him, though, he might want to start focusing on this rotate. Oh, he's going to take the big brain rotate on the outside with the flopper. Get way ahead of zone. This could be huge. A launch pad, too. And there it is. Maybe going to tap that crash pad on the way down, but back with Flakesy, who was on height for a brief moment before losing it. Now no materials, and where does he go from here? Where does he hide? A shard shock and will land on the back of his head. Not before he escapes, and there it is, a nice alco for him to take these minis. And all honesty, I think going down to the low ground would have been better depending on how this zone pulls. He's got players all the way nearby him. He's gonna find elimination though, so it wasn't better. He takes down one. Marine is popping off in the elimination feed as well. This is looking good for everybody that's trying to push up into that top ten, down to the top five. We have yet to see where Bat Sniper is. We've yet to see a lot of these big names, but there's still a lot to play here. Oh my goodness, Kinzel up as well. We did see Bad Sniper take an elimination. We're in the eighth zone with 17 people, Clay. It's getting more stacked in towards the final moments of the game. Flakesy though has had zero builds for so long. He's ducking and diving, dodging and dipping. And he will avoid the final fatal shot from the player on high ground. Actually, oh, he finds it. He waits the patience from Flakesy, the patience to wait for the opportunity. Unfortunately, he doesn't find any of the builds, no impact at all. And now so low HP as bad sniper falls as we get into top 10. Going down early. This is a, a, a free reign for anybody that's near the top. 
Rezon going down as well. Noah Riley with five eliminations. Did just pop those minis. He's got room to work with with his HP pool. Builds are dwindling down, but he's still got a decent amount. We're in the last zone. We've got 10 players remaining. Nice play here. Box like a fish. This player just going to go down. That's Letwick going down. We saw him pop off. And that's kind of the game Letwick needed to get back into the standings. But Noah Riley is having an absolute run. Player on his box. Crash pads in. It doesn't matter. Noah Riley's hitting the shots. And he's taking down Wakey. He's got seven eliminations. And he's looking for so many more. What a rare thing. Two seven eliminations games back to back. Thomas HD in the last one. Now Noah Riley. And with the tools he has, still a flopper in 25 builds. He could actually make a run for the top. Looking at this, it's Moraine. Moraine on height. Flakesy takes down Vortex. And we got Snazy down on low. This fight. Ooh, it goes to Flakesy by one HP with his own tick there. Oh my goodness. Surviving by the thinnest of margins now in the top four. But it's going to go up this hill. And Flakesy has no tools whatsoever. Remember the situation he was. Zero match up on height falling all the way down here and still a chance breaking through if he can just get the jump no unfortunately he's down and out and it's now top three. Oh, nowhere comes in at the last second to clean it up and he might now also be stuck no riley picking up another elimination now on the putrick is gonna go down marine has been sitting in zone but he doesn't have the hp putrick with that elimination is oh. gonna be able to pick up the victory royale Marine almost picking it up the player from before right now bad sniper says yes it is my time bad sniper more like good sniper the french world cup qualified veteran played well at dreamhack anaheim but not necessarily what he really wanted to has really pressed forward he's consistently been able to make it into those top tens with the